Hey everyone, Elton here, I'm the Mother for Portal 2, and today I'll be playing through a map called The Great... Oh, we... Okay, uh, to a map called The Great Cubini. Um... I did play a tiny bit of this before, because, um, I had some problems with my mouse, um... I decided not to, um, continue and fix myself a new mouse. Well, I already had one, but... Use that one inside. I concluded that I need to. What the hell? I put a button over there, uh, a cube, and one over there, a left button over there. And that's what I concluded. The next thing I did here was use the blue gel attempt to jump into this funnel over here. Here we go. I found out that this button. Reverses, reverses the funnel, enables the laser, enables the fizzler, and it did something else, but I don't recall what it did. It did cr laser... Oh yeah, it's one of the things for the door. And this button here gives me a key. That's cool. And I... Unfortunately, as soon as the timer is over, um... Cube gets fizzled, and I generally suck at time things in Portal. Even more so, yeah. The idea was to, <sighs> yeah, it it just fizzles after pressing this button, which is something I personally hate. Um, I think puzzles should be puzzles and not some crazy agility with your mouse. Um, obviously there are people who disagree. I, I also concluded that this button is flipping pointless at the moment. Because the only thing I can use it for at the moment is for two portals over here and over there. And then I'm stuck in this loot. <laughs> and they go away again. Um, and this poor little cube is just stuck here forever. So yeah, I assume I need that. Oh, flipping hell! Uh, I need that cube over there and put it onto this button. However, I do not know how. I can't sneakily grab it. No. I need to. Ooh, wait. Okay, another step I need to do is put a portal over there and one over here so I can activate this laser and that laser would be cool because that would disable this entire row of fizzlers, but to be fair, that's what I think I need to do first. That's Inception. Okay, um... Imagine a world where I do not fail so badly. Now let's jump into the funnel. <sighs> oh dear. Uh <laughs> I'm seriously on a point of giving up because the only thing I can do is um, grab this uh, grab this cube over here, and then I'm dead because the moment the button resets, if I press this button again somehow, can I do that? Yes, I can. If I keep spamming it, I can keep it alive. However, I suck at Portal 2 at playing it, so I generally end up. at a position where I am nowhere near.
Okay, let's just pretend I saved this flipping cube. Now what? Now I have this. Now I can jump in here. And I only have a short amount of time because then the thing resets again and the cube gets fizzled and I'm screwed again. And I can hopefully get over here without too much of a problem. Okay, I can't... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now the thing fizzled, so... Now... Well, my cube also fizzled, but I am here. Now what? Now I'm here. Interesting. What is here that I... Oh, I can go over here. This is... Um, you're sucked into over here and you expect something to be here. There is stuff over here. There's a laser over here, there's a laser catcher over here. It draws attention. But you are to go over here, that's a bit strange. And a hell of a lot of funnels. Okay, that activates those stairs. Hooray. Yeah, um, funnels, funnels, funnels. Lots and lots of funnels. And some random flip pedals on the floor. What the hell? There must be something I can do here. It looks like a question mark. No, this looks like a dead space to me. Some funnels. Oh, hold on. If I have my cube over there, they're sucked back. That's pretty bloody useless. But if for some reason I can also reverse this one, or get a laser in somehow, can I get a laser in? Yes, I can. So if I have If I have this situation... I spawn a new cube. Wow, and I felt clever for finding out that it, this actually did something. And now it only gives me the same I started with, which seems bloody pointless. And let's just assume I and press this again, and then nothing happens. So yay, I respawn this cube. Would it be somewhat helpful somehow to respawn the cube? Then I could technically catch it. So let's press the button again. 
portal over here. And one over here. And be over here. No. Because it comes still so continue the portal over there. However, when I'm over here, I could technically put a portal over here. And then fizzle this cube. And then I could suck the cube over here. And when I have the cube over here, I cannot reach it, but I have the cube over here. Well, no, technically I can get it over there, and from there I can get it over there. So then I can put the cube over there. So I can have this permanently and stuff. Still, first, so I think I know how to get that cube over here, but it seems overly complicated and something I cannot pull up because I don't have the ninja skills or the perfect placement skills to do that. But it would make sense, I suppose. Somehow. I think. Or maybe not. I have no clue. Um, so, after that, I need to find a way to get a portal over there. Oh. Gosh. And I think I already know how to do this. By the way, I bugged the exit. Because I never touched that one. Never touch the thing over there, and still the door is open. But okay, it's probably because it's a math counter and I I messed it up a tiny bit. So I think it has to do with like um, once I have wait, do I actually have a reflective cube? I don't actually have a reflective cube. I have a normal cube, but I spawned one. Hmm. What's the purpose of this room, I ask you? What is its purpose? I see a light bridge here. And that could be helpful to get cubes stuck into this laser. I just have no idea what the fuck is going on here. Absolutely no bloody, bloody clue. I know we can do that, that's about everything I know. And there's probably something. I just don't know. I need to get a portal over here, that's what I know. I need to get a portal over here. I need to press this button. And then that thing deactivates. But I can't see a way how I can get the blue portal over there without doing this anyways. I might be missing something obvious, but at the moment I honestly don't have a single clue about a single element of this chest chamber. It's confusing. Yeah, that's what I have to say about this map. It's It's not my type of map, I suppose. Most of the biggest problem I have is this ridiculous timing for this cube. Timing is always something I suck at, and... It breaks fun for maps for me, and then after that, it doesn't get clearer. Let's just pretend like I actually saw this properly. Yeah, then I can actually just try and press this button.
Yeah, I can actually go over here. Yeah, so I think that's at least one part of the intended solution to get into the funnel like this. But after that, it's just one big mystery to me. And I played a lot of Portal 2 maps, but no, I have no clue here. You might want to give me a hint or something, or I'm just like a she can solve it or whatever. Uh, but at the moment I can't solve it, and the timer is something I hate. Um, personally, what I do, um, I suck at timing, I know that. So, what I do is, um, I always take the time it takes me, and at an additional two seconds. And for people who have never played the map, because when you make a map you test it, and you test it, and you test it, uh, hopefully, and um, after you test it so many times, you are familiar with what you have to do, and you can pull it off easier than other people. And even with two extra seconds, like six seconds becoming eight seconds, uh, it might be hard on some people. So um, you might think it's a good idea to make your map harder by making um, the timers shorter, but generally they're only more frustrating uh, rather than uh, more fun. So yeah, that's everything I've got to say about this map. Um, I hope this was somewhat insightful, and um, I'll see you next time.